and looking back over your father's career, what influence do you think he had on you? How much of him... I tell you, uh, I admired my father beyond the imagination of young people today. Uh, in the first place, when I was uh, a teenager, I was very well aware of what goes on in the United States between blacks and whites. And I knew that at the turn of the century, when my father was 20, 21 years old, and he'd applied for regular army commission through the examination route. He was a non-commissioned officer at the time in the 9th Cavalry Regiment. When I, I came to realize that he had passed the examination that he took uh, before a board at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas in, I guess, 1900 probably. And that board had recommended him for nomination as the second lieutenant and uh, appointment as the second lieutenant cavalry. Then, when the papers got to Washington, and I didn't really ever discuss this with him too much, I'm sorry I didn't, because I don't understand, frankly, except I, I suppose the only real explanation I have for it is that he, he must really have been an outstanding young man uh, to have been turned up to be one of two black regular army officers, the other being Charles Young, a black West Pointer from eight, class of 1889. So. You ask me what, how was my father impressed me? It was with admiration for his achievements and realization that his ability and determination must have been of the nature required to get along in life. Yes. And uh, that's what he was able to do, and I never forgot it uh, because. I don't know what, where you've lived and what your experience has been, but I'll tell you this. Um, young people had, uh, particularly young black people in those days, and I'm sure a uh, good bit of the same exists today, had a very hard time achieving because of the obstacles thrown in their path by racism and things of that nature. And so I was very, very much impressed with my father. I, it's very, it's kind of hard to, to say, but he and I never had a cross word uh, over the years. Uh, he never, I remember I got a couple of whippings that he gave me. Yes. That was where were obviously well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he and I never really had any any disagreements on on matters of principle. There was one thing that we really had in common, and that was a hatred of racial discrimination and segregation and all forms in all of its forms, in all of their forms. Sure. He and I both, well, he, he first, he and my mother, took advantage of every opportunity they could to uh, visit foreign countries away from the United States uh, to free themselves from this type of uh, unhappy existence that's forced upon blacks in this country. And my wife and I were fortunate enough to serve many, many years overseas, both in uh, Europe as well as in the Far East, where that sort of thing did not exist. We were happiest under those circumstances. Sure, sure, understandable. Well, so that's kind of a long explanation and answer 
to your question about my father. He, uh, a very, very great man who would, would probably have been successful in lots of different fields. 